Hey, my name is David Griffiths and welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to talk to you specifically about what I've been doing in my weight loss journey. I know that many of you struggle with weight. I know I have for many years. And being over 300 pounds, it's especially daunting. Trying to find stuff that fits and, and then feeling a burden because my son is also overweight and not wanting to be a negative influence on him. And so tonight, I want to share with you insights that I've learned on my journey. I'm about 30 pounds down and I want to tell you what's been working for me and I hope that I can encourage you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you my journey. I'm a gospel recording artist. You may have seen me on TikTok. I uh, share hymns on piano on TikTok and I pray for people. But I want to be vulnerable and to share with you what I'm going through because I'm inspired, especially this year, to help people to change. And so part of that is sharing with you what's been working for me. So real quick, I'm going to share five things that have been helping me in my weight loss journey. The first is intermittent fasting. Why intermittent fasting? Well, in a nutshell, I'll say this. I've tried many different things, calorie counting, Jenny Craig, juicing, et cetera, et cetera. I did do something that was very effective. It was uh, called the corrective diet. It involved juicing and eating unprocessed food, low sugar, and it was really great. It was just difficult on a couple levels. One, because you're doing a lot of juicing and drinking that juice throughout the daytime period. And so it was very labor intensive. So maybe if you were retired, you could do that really well. Or if, it, if you're a teacher and it's summer vacation, you could do that. Or if you're a stay-at-home parent, maybe you could do that. But, and if you'd like me to make a video about the corrective diet, I can tell you about the corrective diet. I lost 32 pounds in one month. It was really insightful. But the intermittent fasting, what's been helpful for me is you don't have all this prep time. Secondly, what's been helpful with intermittent fasting is even if you don't eat exactly your goal in terms of whole grain foods and fruits and vegetables even if you mess up but you still only eat within a certain time frame you still lose weight so intermittent fasting is my choice in the season because i found it to be helpful and to give me progress even when i mess up all right so the first thing that i encourage people to do is to start with a goal that they can commit to. I want people to have success. Integrity is something that I didn't really understand at a deeper level until I started this weight loss journey. I remember watching a television show and this fitness guru was telling the people there that the reason they didn't lose weight was because they lacked integrity. Whoa, that was offensive. But then he explained what he meant. You know when you make yourself a promise, like it's January 2022, this year, every day, I'm gonna wake up and exercise for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to eat only vegetables, and you've done those mega promises, right? And then when you crash and burn, you give up for the rest of the year. So why not make a promise that you are very confident that you can keep? When you do that, you start to develop confidence, you start to develop integrity, because you believe that you'll actually do what you say you'll do, even to yourself. I know for me, whew, I get a little emotional talking about this because I was over 360 pounds and I would get winded walking very short distances. And so for me, the first step was just to go out walking. And I walked maybe five minutes and I came back in, but I did it. And then I just kept the promise that I was gonna do something every day. So I encourage people to make a commitment. My commitment is, I'm gonna exercise for 10 minutes every day. On a good day, I'll do it in the morning and evening. But every day, I'm gonna get in at least 10 minutes. This, along with the intermittent fasting, has been working well for me. For me, with my intermittent fasting, I'm eating only during an eight hour period, and then during 16 hours, I don't eat. This is really good, it lowers your inflammation, and I'm telling you, it's just, it's just wonderful. I don't want this video to be long, so let me get to my second thing. Take supplements that give you energy. So here's what I do. I take a mixture of a green powder and beet powder and brewer's yeast. The brewer's yeast gives me energy. The beet powder helps with my circulation. And then the green powder 
helps with me getting the nutrients that I need and helps me to think clearly. And then I put some fiber in it and I mix it all up with water and then I take a probiotic. So the fibers are prebiotic. I take the probiotic and I found that that has really been a wonderful combination. So I'm able to think clearly, I have energy, so when I go to exercise, I can even do better. Sometimes I just feel like exercising more than 10 minutes, and sometimes I do. Ah. But I keep the promise that at least for 10 minutes, I'm gonna exercise. All right, so make sure you get some supplements that give you energy and mental clarity. And the next, drink lots of water. Be strategic about it. <laughs> what used to mess me up is in the morning, I would drink water with lemon juice in it and it's great because it helps you to eliminate in the morning first thing of the day that's great however when i would do that and then i had to drive to school then it was like oh okay i need to use the bathroom so i try to time it in a way that i drink more water when i'm going to have plenty of access to the bathroom so if i have i'm a teacher and a content creator well when i'm at school teaching i <laughs> make sure that i'm drinking more water when I'm gonna have a planning period and I can go to the restroom as many times as I need to. All right, so figure out in your schedule what's good for you in terms of being able to drink lots of water. That's very helpful. And then the final idea I wanna share with you in this video is share for leverage. What I'm doing now is I wanna help you, but what I'm doing also is helping me because I'm sharing for leverage. When I share with you what's worked for me, I feel a certain sense of accountability. And if I know I'm telling you on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you regularly about my weight loss journey. That means it gives me incentive to be faithful. It also gives me incentive to be faithful because I want to help my son by demonstrating to him what works. So these are the tips that I wanted to share with you. I hope you find them helpful. Let me know in the comments what's been working for you. And you and I together, we can help ourselves to lose weight and feel great. All right, my name is David Griffiths or Digital Dave. And you will find me here at this YouTube channel. Please make sure you subscribe so that you know when my next video comes out about this weight loss journey. And also, if you enjoy music and ministry content, this is your channel. So, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And remember, it all starts with one step. Don't quit. You can do this. It all starts with just making small commitments to yourself and starting to believe in yourself again. And if you don't believe in yourself yet, I believe in you. And I hope that helps you to start believing in you too. All right. Until the next video. Bye for now.